After crisscrossing the country, the Porsche City Index Carrera Cup arrived at the site of the 2000 Olympic Games on the streets of Sydney. Craig Baird in the Jet Travel Insurance Porsche already had the title in his grasp, but a determined Johnny Reed in the Hunter Sports 911 was at his best to take pole for the opening race. The track was kind of alive because it was just evolving as the session went on um, and you had to pick where your grip was. Uh, the patchy surfaces and change of surfaces make um, for different levels of grip as you go through the corners and different areas of the circuit. So, um, plus the track was slowly drying. So for all those combinations, uh, you had to use all your experience and, and put it together. And um, you know, I was just delighted to get uh, have a good car and be able to push hard and uh, take the pole position. Johnny Reed and Craig Baird went side by side off the start, with Reed taking the lead on the opening turn. Plenty of bunching in the back of the pack and some cars were sideways. Reed had Baird and Stephen Richards all pressing for the win. Reed holding on to take his seventh win of the year from Baird and Richards. Immense pressure. The guy's a class act. He's you know, won por uh, 10 Porsche championships, so um, he needs no introduction to Porsches and really um, to hold him off in a race and that heat under that pressure, I'm, I'm very happy with my performance, but also I must commend my team. They've done a great job in preparation. This being the home race, um, for the for the Newcastle based team, Hunter Motorsport, I'm just absolutely over the moon uh, to deliver here for them. James Conduris in the Superbarn Supermarkets Porsche won the Elite Class, with Max Tweak's second place in the Permagard Automotive 911, securing him the Elite Class title. The Hallmark Racing entry of Michael Lochisano in third. It was nice to win Elite, um, you know, two races still to go. I was seeing stars those last couple of laps, so uh, we'll see how we go this next race, it's going to be tough. Johnny Reed and Craig Baird were back into it in race two, with the pair bumper to bumper throughout. Reed kept it together to win the race with the Sky Sands Wilson Security Porsche of Daniel Gaunt in third. Absolutely wrapped with that, yeah. Um, we picked up a little bit of a problem halfway through the race, um, just I think due to the excessive curb hopping that I have to have to do to beat Craig, and um, I'm throwing it all on the line this weekend. There's no no secrets. We wanted to come out winning, and we're doing so. So I'm. I'm delighted, but um, you know it's taking its toll on the car a little bit in that one, and uh, we just got to manage to get through for the for the round win. Uh, one more race tomorrow morning on Sunday, and um, that's our focus. So we'll just go through the car, make sure she's all ready to rock for tomorrow. James Conduris made it two for two in the elite class with the alternative freight services Porsche of Tony Bates in second, Max Twig third. Got a little bit lucky in that one. Um, Tony um, caught caught up to me, and then I think. Um, clipped a wall in one of the corners so it enabled me to drive away but uh, yeah, I'll take it anyway I can. A fresh face in Sydney was Chinese-based Swiss driver Alex Imperatore in the Tyre Plus Porsche. The Asian Carrera Cup champion getting his first taste of racing in Australia. Oh, it's great, you know, uh, you, you come here race with a, in a great event, the V8 Supercars, uh, gets a lot of crowd in, so the atmosphere is actually really unbelievable. Uh, then the circuit itself is mega, I mean it's nothing, it's like nothing I've ever done before, uh, with huge curves, a lot of bumps, so very challenging. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting up to speed, slowly, slowly, and yeah, we, we made a step in the race. The quality of the competition has impressed him, and he'd be keen to do more racing down under. You can see that uh, they're all very close, uh, obviously very fast. So uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to, to come back and try to, 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 to fight with those guys. Definitely enjoyable. Final race of the season and Johnny Reed and Craig Baird battled into the opening turn. Baird was shuffled back to fourth behind Gaunt and Stephen Richards. Richards then ran deep into a corner and dropped back to sixth. The victory going to Reed ahead of Gaunt, Baird holding off a fast finishing Alex Davison for third. I'm just delighted, you know, I came here, um, you know, looking to, 
to get three wins, but you know, it's always so, so challenging with the level of competition you've got with Craig Beard, Dan Gordon, Steve Richards, just to name a few. And uh, to come here and deliver in, in such form, I, I couldn't be uh, more happier. The team of guys that I've got around me have just, you know, their dedication and, and passion to win, um, along with mine, has really connected this year. And I think that's been our recipe for, for success. And uh, I'm just so grateful to be part of that. And uh, I just want to thank Nathan Tinkler for the opportunity um, and everyone at the sports group and, and obviously Hunter Motorsport for all the effort this year. Max Twig won the elite class to round out his title in the class. Second place and first overall for the weekend going to James Condurus with Tony Bates in third. It's just been a great year all year. The, the, um, the league guys have had good dices every single round. We're up to this one here where James and I were having another dice just in the very last race. So. No, we just can't wait for next year now, just get it all back on again. Crews will now regroup and plan ahead for the 2013 Carrera Cup season, which gets underway on the streets of Adelaide on the first weekend in March.